Often you want to have some model information shown on screen. The information to display can be modified with the red eye on top, where the eye stands for information, obviously. When you click on it, a dialog window pops up where you can uh, check a different kind of parameters to show. This window is also accessible by clicking the right mouse button on the screen anywhere but on the model itself. In the model you can set for every configuration the information to show. What we currently see are the default settings. For geometry you can ask to show point, line and plate information as well as some general model settings like background color and representation mode. We will check some boxes in the geometry tab for example a point number, line length and plate number and then we hit OK. The requested information is immediately displayed on screen. If the information is too big or too small for the current model or you experience trouble reading it, you can play with the font size over here to make the information larger or smaller. However, the information that we see now will only be shown temporary. We have created a non-permanent user configuration. This means that if we go now to for example the loads configuration and we go back to the geometry the information we requested is gone. The default geometry parameters are shown again. If you want the information to be shown like before but all the time so permanently there are two options. The first option is to save it into the default geometry and that means doing an overwrite or we can create another configuration with our own settings. Let us first modify the default geometry. We go back to the information dialog window and we check the information that we want to see so for example point number and line length and next we click save. Now the software alerts us this configuration name already exists do you want to replace it do you want to override it yes we want to override it and we click yes so the geometry configuration is now overridden with the new settings and we click ok when we go now to the loads and back the information is still there Another possibility is creating a new configuration. So let's go back to the information dialog. Let us uncheck the point numbers and the line numbers and for example ask for plate number and the plate thickness and we will rename the geometry. and we hit save. So a new configuration with these settings is now added to the default ones. This is our new configuration and we can access it from the drop down list that we can find over here. So we have the default ones geometry loads results mesh and the new one we made geometry plus plate information. This new configuration is accessible from the model environment and also when using the reporting functionalities when which can be found over here. We have now shown the steps for the geometry configuration but these are similar for the results or the loads configuration.